Investments consist of spending on new plants, capital equipment, machinery, inventories, construction, etc. The investment decision weighs marginal benefits and marginal costs. The expected rate of return is the marginal benefit, and the interest rate represents the marginal costs since that's the cost of borrowing funds. The expected rate of return is found by finding the expected economic profit as a percentage of the cost of investment. Remember, profit is total revenue minus total costs. The textbook gives us the example that $100 is expected in profit on a $1,000 investment. Using that information, that means the expected rate of return would be 10%. Thus, the business would not want to pay more than a 10% interest rate on the investment. Remember that the expected rate of return is not a guaranteed rate of return. Investments do carry risks. The real interest rate, which is the nominal rate corrected for expected inflation, determines the cost of investment. The interest rate represents either the cost of borrowed funds or the opportunity cost of investing your own funds, which is income foregone. If the real interest rate exceeds the expected rate of return, then the investment should not be made. The investment demand schedule, or curve, shows an inverse relationship between the interest rate and the amount of investment. As long as the expected return exceeds the interest rate, the investment is expected to be profitable. The investment demand curve is constructed by arranging all potential investment projects in descending order of their expected rate of return. The curve slopes downward, reflecting an inverse relationship between the real interest rate and quantity of investment demanded. Notice the real interest rate is placed on the y-axis. This is due to the fact that it is the financial price of each dollar of investing, and price always goes on the y-axis for supply and demand curves. Also notice the relationship when the investment rule is followed. Fewer projects are expected to provide a higher return, so less will be invested if interest rates are high. Shifts in investment demand occur when any determinant apart from the interest rate changes. Greater expected returns create more investment demand, shifting the curve to the right. The reverse causes a leftward shift. Changes in expected returns result for several reasons. The first might be acquisition, maintenance, and operating costs of capital goods. They could change, creating higher costs, which lower the expected return. Business taxes might change. An increased tax lowers the expected return. Technology could change. Technological change often involves lower costs, which would increase expected returns. Stock of capital goods on hand could affect new investment. If there's an abundant idle capital on hand because of weak demand or recent investment, then new investments would be less profitable. If firms are planning on increasing their inventories, investment demand shifts to the right. If firms are planning to decrease their inventories, investment demand shifts left. These planned inventory changes are based on expectations of either faster or slower sales. If the firm expects faster sales in the future, they will add to the inventory. If the firm expects slower sales in the future, they will decrease inventories. Expectations about future economic and political conditions, both in the aggregate and in certain specific markets, can change the view of expected profits. This figure shows the shifts of the investment demand curve. Increases in investment demand are shown as a rightward shift of the investment demand curve. In decreases in investment demand are shown as a leftward shift of the investment demand curve. Investment is a very unstable type of spending. Business investments is more volatile than GDP. Expectations of future business conditions are easily and quickly changed. Capital goods are durable, so spending can be postponed or not. Firms can choose to replace or fix older equipment in buildings. This is unpredictable. Innovation occurs irregularly. New products stimulate investment and create waves of investment spending that in time recede. Profits affect both the incentive and ability to invest, and profits vary considerably from year to year, contributing to the instability of investment spending. This figure shows the volatility of investment for the period of 1973 to 2009. 
annual percentage changes in investment spending are often several times greater than the percentage changes in GDP.